Hey, this is Cliff Carey from Bedwood at Parts. Stay tuned while we do an install video on this 68 Ford F-250. Hey everyone, this is Cody over at Bedwood and Parts. Back again for another installation video where we'll be putting in a Carbon Series Retro Liner for Dream Giveaways. Uh, in this wonderful 68 Ford F-250 long bed. Stay tuned as we show you everything that you'll need to know on how to put in a carbon kit, as well as the retro liners themselves and answering just some questions that uh, every day we get people asking us about. Now with retro liners, you will see a little bit of a difference in what we send you in each box. Everything that you need is going to be included in the box that we send you. Now there will not be any drilling or mounting to your pre-existing metal bed. Everything is going to be what's included in this box. All it's going to do is just sit directly on top of your pre-existing metal bed and you're going to get that nice clean wood bed look. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you what you're going to get in this box. As we do so, we will tell you a little bit of what will make it the easiest way to install a retro liner in your vehicle. Now that we got our box open, one big thing to keep in mind, if your box is damaged when you receive it, please do not get rid of anything that comes in the box. Uh, any of the wrapping or any of the actual boxing materials uh, or the box itself, we will need ample pictures of that in order to make sure that we can get you uh, your kit replaced in a timely manner. So again, just double check everything we take every precaution necessary to make sure that this kit gets to you in perfect condition, but just in case things do happen. So again, please make sure that you send your pictures to us before you start doing anything with the, uh, with the package itself. Now with the retro liner kit, again, you are going to get a little bit of paperwork that comes in with each uh, package. You're going to get a thank you uh, as well as just something that says if you uh, are putting in your kit, once you're done, if you would like to send us pictures, we would love to feature your vehicle and your kit on our website and our social media. The second thing you're gonna receive here is instructions. So every Retroliner kit will show instructions on how to put this in the easiest way. Uh, make sure that you get a perfect fit as, as you put it in. Now another thing that you're gonna receive is your hardware. So every kit, will always have the hardware in which you need in order to make sure that you get this in as easy as possible. So please make sure that you don't misplace any of these. These are gonna be vital for putting in your kit. Now as we go through, you will notice that you will get your strips as well as another set of hardware. So unlike with the Bedwood kits, the Retroliner kit does not mount to anything in your pre-existing vehicle. This will have aluminum C-channels that will run along your bed in various locations. Your wood and your strips will go on top of those and then mount everything to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick little cut here just so that we can get everything out and we'll show you the next step. So a couple things that you're going to notice when you get your kit is you're going to have a couple of these uh, aluminum C-channels that are going to go in various locations as you see here where we have our weld nuts. Now these weld nuts, the easiest way to do this is to pre-measure where you're going to be putting them in order to make sure that you have them in the correct location as you go through. That way you're not searching for your weld nuts when you are ready to put everything in. Now the first step that you're gonna to wanna to do is place out your, uh, your C channels and then go ahead and get you a uh, T-handle, uh, Allen wrench. This is going to make life a lot easier instead of just doing a regular Allen wrench in order to put these in. Now the first thing that you want to do is put in your outer boards. So as you can see here we already have a few of our outer boards put in with our nuts and our bolts. Now the outer boards will have holes drilled in them so that you can go ahead and drop your carriage bolts down uh, with a flat washer on top to hold everything down in place. Now I have not done one on the other side real quick, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that piece in, make sure that we get everything 
in, installed correctly, and then we'll start from the outside and work our way to the center. Now, the main thing here is to make sure that you have all of your weld nuts in place beforehand, because once you put this in, you will not be able to um, put in more weld nuts without taking out your boards that you've already put in. So if that is something that winds up happening, uh, just make sure to count your boards, count how many weld nuts you have in per strip. Just make sure that you have the correct amount before you get started. That way it saves you a lot of time, effort, and heartache. Now, once again, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your bolts already preset with your flat washers. And the easiest way to do this is to use your T-nut uh, or your T-handle and just put it in, make sure that your weld nut is actually centered it should sit directly into the holes of your board along where you're going to be putting them. Again, these do slide. So the easiest way to do it is just to kind of put it, hover it over above, put your uh, T handle in it, uh, and just move that nut around uh, side to side until you find the right location. Set your board down and then your bolts as easy as just dropping it in and screwing it in place. And again, these should go in fairly easy, so if not, just back them out just a little bit, and they should go directly in place. And again, what you're going to want to make sure is that you've already got your T-nuts, or your, your nuts installed correctly, and again, it's as easy as just moving it around. And as you can see, just drop it in place and you're ready to go. And just like that, we have our board installed. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our um, fender wall, or I'm sorry, our uh, wheel tub boards installed. Uh, get those in with our strips, uh, and then again, we're going to work our way in as we go through each step. Now, as I said before, this is a custom vehicle, so uh, the application for this particular vehicle may be different than yours, um, but this, the installation process is still pretty much the same, minus a few key pieces where, uh, like over here on the driver's side, we have a uh, protrusion that we had to work around. So your boards may or may not look similar to this. Uh, if you have that, we will cut around it to specifically make sure that those boards fit perfectly to your vehicle. Uh, now, like I said, the next step is going to be to put in the uh, wheel well boards. So what we're gonna do is slowly start working our way from the outside and going in to the vehicle. So again, it's pretty much a plug and play process. You just put it in, set it in place, and just make sure that, you know, if you move any of these little weld nuts that you just move them back so that when you start your next process, it's a little bit easier going in to put in your nuts and bolts. So again, we're just gonna adjust a little bit here And again, everything should sit perfectly flat onto the C channels. Now, one thing I do want to make sure to uh, iterate is when you are putting these in, you may notice that when you put your strips in, there's a small little gap between where the strip ends and the corner or the side of the board uh, where the groove has been cut. There might be a little gap. That's perfectly normal. That just gives you a little bit of play when you're putting everything in. So the next step here is to go ahead and put our strips in. Go ahead and lock this in place a little bit. We're not going to make them super tight, just finger tight. Uh, so you can use your uh, T wrench to just kind of get it a little bit snug, but don't wrench everything down until you are sure that everything is going to be put in place correctly. So again, the next step is to go ahead and grab our strips. So again, the strips that you're going to get uh, will have a small little film on them. You just peel this off when you're done. This is just a protective coating to make sure that everything is 
uh, good once you get it to make sure that there's no scratches or issues uh, once you get your, your strips. So again, these just sit directly on top and we already have our weld nuts in place and we will grab our hardware and start the process of putting everything in. So again, the T-handle, uh, this is just going to help you make sure that you get everything centered correctly. And we can go ahead and take this little protective film covering off. And again, it's just a peel, nothing too special. And again, when you're putting these in, just back it out a little bit till you feel that little bit of a click. And then it should go in fairly easy. And again, we're just going to finger tight these. Nothing super wrenching on it, because uh, we still want to be able to adjust this if need be as we go through the process. And this is something that just quite simply, you know, uh, one person can do. Uh, if you have a second pair of hands, it never hurts. But you can put this in all on your own as you go through. So again, that board is now in place back here on the back. We're going to do the same thing up here to the front. And you may have to just pull it in just a little bit, but everything should be ready to go as you continue forward. So again, we're going to just grab our strip here. And again, you want to make sure that you have them in the correct locations when you put them in, uh, just to make sure that everything sits flush. And that is the wrong strip. It'll be for the other side. So again, when you're putting your strips in, uh, sometimes it is easy to you know get them mixed up. Uh, again, if you pre-place these out, uh, it will help in the process and make things just a little bit smoother with the installation. There we go. And again, we're just gonna peel back that little protective coating. Set that in, pull your board in until it locks in. And then you can go ahead and put your nuts and bolts together. And if you have everything, like I said, situated to where you don't have to play around, you can just simply put it in place and put your nuts in. And again, we're just going to finger tight these. And this should only take eh, about maybe an hour to put everything in together. Um, maybe a little longer if you have to, you know, kind of finagle with things, move things around to your liking. Um, but everything, like I said, should be just a simple put it together and be done with it.
Now, when you get up to these uh, edges, they are a little bit tight. So you kind of want to be careful not to scratch up any of your paint or anything like that as you go through. Uh, and make sure that your weld nuts don't move on you like this one just did. So we'll move that back just a bit. And we'll go ahead and continue forward. Uh, if your board gets lifted up, it does take the possibility or the chance of getting a little bit scratched up with those weld nuts. So you do want to be careful how you put everything in. Make sure that you don't have your board sitting on your nuts as you're going through and installing. And if you want to use a regular Allen wrench for the front, that's completely up to you. Sometimes it does make it a little bit easier just to get up here without rubbing up against your bulkhead here. Um, but again, just as simple as that, we now have our strip in and we have our next board. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring on the other side, do the same thing, and we'll see you back when we start doing the other middles. Now at this point, we have all of our wood put in where we need it. All of the strips are in place. The only thing that we're missing now is the final strip in the center. Now again, make sure that you leave everything loose to where you can adjust this where needed. So as we started putting everything in place, we did have to move the boards a little bit just to make the spacing work out. And again, that's one of the reasons why there is a little bit of wiggle in the actual strip uh, groove. So again, just adjust where you need to, leave your final strip open. Uh, at this point, we're ready to put it in. All of our weld nuts are centered up on that opening, uh, and we are ready to go ahead and install our final strip and then start tightening everything down completely. So again, what you're going to want to do is just take your last strip and just put it in place. And sometimes it's easier just to slide it right down the center. And once you get it fully in place, now you're ready to start installing your final bolts. So again, just loosen everything up, make sure everything slides in. And once you get it in place, it should be a little bit of a tight fit, not much, but just enough to hold everything right where we want it. So we got our front and our back. And now we can start filling in all the rest of them. And again, using our T-wrench to kind of straighten everything out where we need it. And sometimes it's easier to get into the bed in order to do this. Um, you know, just be careful because, again, if you, um, when you're putting stuff in this, if you have, you know, a brace of shoes or something that's sharp, you can scratch up your bed. And we definitely don't want to do that. But this is meant for taking a beating as well. Uh, again, you're not, you're not going to hurt it just by standing on it or anything like that. 
But if you're doing this outside and you have, you know, sticks around or anything like that, you don't want to get that up underneath your shoe and hurt your finish, especially if it's a show vehicle. And again, once you hear that little click, you know it's seated correctly, and you can drive it home. All right, and just like that, we've installed a full Retroliner kit. Again, these are built to just sit directly on top. There was no mounting to the actual existing metal bed, no drilling, no cutting necessarily. Uh, everything is built directly for each vehicle. And again, being a custom vehicle, we did have to get specific measurements for that front driver's side just to be able to make a kit that fits this. But again, it's as simple as just put it in, bolt it all together, and it looks good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten up all these bolts, and then we'll see you back here in just a bit. that guys everything is in here this is a completed retro liner kit now uh, again this is our carbon series retro liner which is available uh, for all kits including our bedwood kits if you have a factory wood bed now with the retro liner kits again this is meant for a factory metal bed um, where you just want that wood look now again this isn't for everyone you know, we do, we do see people that ask, you know, why, why put a wood bed in a uh, perfectly good <laughs> vehicle bed? And again, it's not for everyone, but for those that are looking for that classic look, um, especially with a carbon series kit, this is a great kit for a vehicle. Uh, and if you like this kit and you like this vehicle, again, go over and check out Dream Giveaways. Uh, this vehicle will be up for grabs in one of their giveaways. So again, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys so much for um, all the support that you've given us on all of our Facebook pages and, and YouTube and TikTok. And if you're not yet, please go over and subscribe. That way you stay in, uh, in sync with us for our uh, upcoming gigs as well, where we're gonna be putting in a few more Retroliner kits, one in a dually, uh, and then one in our other show vehicle, another uh, Retroliner kit that's going to be a carbon series as well. Uh, and then for our dually, we will be doing a hickory. So again, check out our other videos. And if you like what you see, don't forget to follow us and 
uh, stay up to date on all of the education that we give out. Uh, and until next time, guys, have a wonderful day.